also tastes like it tastes like how cleaning liquid smells. Oh God. Hi everybody. We are here to in the spirit of the candy sharing this month. We are here to review some international and interesting candies that we shopped around for and neither of us have ever tried before. So you will get our genuine joy and disgust depending on what we have. So shall we? First up is an Italian candy, which was, um, you can get this at your local store at Uncle Giuseppe's or another Italian shop or maybe online. So I'll just close. And it is, um, I don't speak Italian, so it's caramel ripian a la crema. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Serving size is two pieces. Comes wrapped like so with a lovely lady on the back. It's cute. Okay. I hate to say it, but it kind of looks like a maggot. Enticing. Not a great way to start, but it's fitting for spooky season. It does. It's a hard candy. It's very sweet. It's almondy. Mm -hmm. It's very almondy, which is a weird flavor for a hard candy. Okay. okay I've so broken we'll through. Yeah, so is, a, is there a filling? Mm -hmm. It's very easy to chew. It's caramelly. I just think she looks very pleasant. Like she has no negative um, intentions for us. So I trust her. I like it. Next up, we will continue the hard candy trend. Mm -hmm. This one is a soda fizzy candy um, made in Japan. It has a cola flavor and a ramun flavor, which is the... Um, I forget what you call it. The it's the little bottles that have the marble, marble soda, and you smack the marble into it to open it and drink it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try. I want to try the blue one. I like I'll blue flavor things. I'll try the red one. This is very matrixy. Okay. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So mine's cola. There we oh, go. Not what I expected. Oh. Feels like at all. Oh, it's like a starburst almost. Yeah. It kind of looks like toothpastey mine. Mine looks like caramel and white with something in the middle. <laughs> something dark and mysterious. Okay. It's very chewy. Mm. Not in a gummy way. It's and, uh, hard chewy. Mmm. Mine tastes good. Mine doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It like has a hint of soda flavor, but it also tastes like it tastes like how cleaning liquid smells. Oh God! It's not fizzy. Mine wasn't. <sighs> okay. This one's better than that one. I have to tell you, I don't like the texture. Me neither. It's very hard. It is very hard. <laughs> a flavored plastic. Um, next up is this guy, <clears throat> Latin candy, bone oat bone. So also you can pick this up at a, a local store that has international flavors. It's different looking. If you can see from the package, looks like it has things around it and things in the middle, like a cake covered in chocolate. So very deluxe looking. Yes, so let's go ahead. Oh. <laughs> um, it's like a Rice Krispie in the middle. I didn't expect yeah. that. It is good. And it's different, I feel like. I feel like there isn't, I feel like it's different. It's like um, Rice Krispie Kit Kat. I give this a thumbs up, a bone, a bone. A bone. I'm like, it was good. Mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell everyone I know about it. 
Okay. Next we have from Trader Joe's these dark chocolate honey mints, which is not that crazy sounding, but I have never had honey plus mint plus chocolate. Ew. Okay, so not ew on the flavor, but I tried to break it in half. Um, so people don't do that. Don't break it in half. Because it is all or nothing. It is all or nothing. Very messy. I am not at um, hmm. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I expected it to be a mint layer with like a literal drizzle of honey at the top. Mm. Instead, it's just like a, a, a amalgam of uh, mint and honey. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate I'm either. Sad. So, so far, Trader Joe's has mm. disappointed me. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. like dark chocolate, but I don't think. Ooh. that that dark chocolate goes with that like my mouth feels dry now these are the candies you give to people you don't like <laughs> no, i'm joking we're not it done so. i'm really we excited to try this guy mm -hmm. so also purchase at a regular store it's called galleta rayana mountain mountain delights okay so we're gonna go ahead and try it. It, it. it was wrapped and then you open it up and then it has five five wafers in it. Look, it says one, so. It smells kind of like um, waffles, like waffles and syrup. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay, so I, I broke mine in half because I like to do that. And then, so it's very Ooh. tasty with a wafer. Okay, let's go ahead. I still have the dark chocolate in my mouth, so it's hard. I, mm. I feel like I need a palate cleanser. Um, there's two layers. There are. It's like a peanut butter and jelly kind of. So there's like a I like. Layer. I liked whatever layer I had first, and then it changed. I was like, oh. It's sweet. I have to say, I thought the wafer would be a little more crispy, but it's not as crispy as I would mm -hmm. like. Um, Same, I agree. I feel like it's pleasant. It's not, it's more of a texture thing, but it's good tasting. I agree that the wafer should be crispier. It feels yeah. like a kitchen sponge, kind of. <laughs> Since we're on the fruit trend, I will do our Hello Kitty Tropical Mango Marshmallows. <laughs> it says mango jelly inside. I just noticed that. Oh, this, really this drawing looks like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Here we go. I'm just going to the whole thing. There's nothing wrong with it. The amount of filling is not bad. Not bad. It's not overwhelming. Um, it definitely tastes like mango. Very sweet. All these candies are very sweet. I find, except for the, except for these. I don't, these are not. Mm -hmm. that I don't like things with. I don't like things with things in the middle. Oh. I don't like the the bursting textures. All right. So next up. Is this little guy from Oh My God Snacks, Dolce Crema de Leche. Now comes in a clear package. However, viewers can't see that it's it's very thick, sort of looking, and it's solid. All the same. Yeah. Yeah. So Good for Sarah. I'm I'm curious about this one. Very curious. Uh, I don't have a great feeling because it almost smells. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> it almost smells cheesy to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm upset that I thought that. Ooh. Oh, it's so sweet. Mm. Okay. It is yeah. like condensed caramel milk. 
Right. Very sweet. I um, it feels almost like caramel that stopped before it got to the hard part. Mm -hmm. Sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't. Which is good. What'd you say? I don't taste cheese, which is good. Yes, me neither. It's just the smell. It's good. It's less um, sticky and extreme than a regular caramel would be, but with mm -hmm. the same taste. Yeah. So I would say but this creamy. bar is would be a lot though. Like I think the yeah. is like five. This would last like a week because it's very strong. I think. That's why it's OMG. Okay, the last one that I have is. It's from the Asian market, but it's fettuccine gummy. I don't know if this is supposed to, you know, it kind of looks like the fried noodles, mm -hmm. but it's gummy. I don't know if it's supposed to taste like noodle. Okay. It looks good. Also very sweet. Ooh. It kind of tastes like the soda ones. It does. I feel like the end is a little sour. You think so? Maybe. Yeah. I take that back. Not not awful. Kind of tastes like this little guy. Yeah. All right. So last up uh, is this little little tidbit called Obli Obli Bun. And I have no clue what it is. Came in this little wrapper. Complete surprise. It's very interesting. It's chocolate covered. Peanut butter, maybe? It, yeah, it does seem peanut buttery. Or like a Cadbury egg. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter. Mm-hmm. And that has like a Rice crispy shell with chocolate. Yeah, it is like a creamy, peanut buttery, Cadbury egg kind of combo. And I like that it was crispy on the edge. So, I think we might have saved the best for last. I think so. So if you ever see these called Obli Bonds, you should try it. That is different. Mm. I like that. All right. So, Lucas, what do you think is your most favorite to least favorite? I think the Obli Bond was my favorite. Mm -hmm. I also liked that fettuccine. Um, it was like a soda y sour gummy worm. And I don't normally like hard candies, so I wasn't in love with the crema, the first one, but yeah. I liked that almond flavor a lot. And yeah. definitely the worst one, the worst texture one mm -hmm. were the soda gummy, the Starburst soda ones. And the worst flavor was the chocolate honey mint, sadly. It yeah. sounded good. I think the Bone Oban one was up there for me also. It was a little dry, but we do like peanut butter, so. But for those with mm -hmm. no allergies, you might want to try this one. Um, yeah, and the honey, the honey mint with the dark chocolate. I didn't like anything about it. It was very interesting to see the different flavors. This is a little world tour of candies for us. Well, uh, we hope you enjoy learning about different candy from different places. If you have a candy that uh, maybe you went somewhere or you know of a place that has candies from other places in the world, please share it with us because we, Lucas and I, both like to learn new things about food. So we'd love to hear. Thank you for watching. <laughs>